stomach growl. Your gut accidentally unmuted its podcast. Those rumbles are waves of muscle contractions pushing air and fluid through the intestines, housekeeping known as the migrating motor complex. It's not only hunger, it happens all day to keep things moving. It's just louder when the pipes are emptier and there's more echo. Want a quick quiet mode before a meeting? Eat a little slower, sip instead of chug, and go easy on fizzy drinks that add bonus soundtrack. High gas foods and big gaps between meals can also crank the volume. A small snack can dampen the echo, but remember, your gut is supposed to rumble. Hypnic jerk. You're drifting off cozy and then your body yeets you off an imaginary cliff. What actually happened? As you enter light sleep, your brain starts turning down the volume on muscle commands so you don't act out dreams. A tiny misread says, we're falling. So it slams the panic button and fires a full body twitch to save you from a fall that never existed. It's harmless, super common, and extra spicy with caffeine, stress, or late night scrolling that keeps your nervous system jittery. Quick patch, darker room, slower breathing, and park your phone far enough away that doom scrolling takes effort. Brain freeze. Ice cream, smoothie, or iced coffee hits the roof of your mouth and your face files a bug report straight to your forehead. Cold shocks the palate, blood vessels clamp then rebound, and your brain reroutes that chaos as a frontal headache, an instant speed ticket for eating too fast. It's brief because the vessels settle down quickly, but it's dramatic enough to make you swear off dessert for roughly 12 seconds. Fix. Press your tongue flat on your palate like a warm compress, breathe gently through your nose, and take smaller bites. If you're the designated milkshake vacuum in your group, nominate a friend to pace you. Photic sneeze, aka the sun sneeze. Step outside and your sneeze button gets mashed by daylight. For a chunk of humanity, Bright light crosstalks with the trigeminal sneeze pathway, so your brain fires an achu you didn't order. It's not an allergy. It's a wiring quirk that tends to run in families and shows up the moment you leave a dark room. If a sneeze is loading, glancing at a bright area can finish the download faster. If you'd like fewer public surprise sneezes, sunglasses help. And remember, holding in sneezes is a bad hobby. Let it out safely. Contagious yawning. I yawn, you yawn, the dog yawns, pyramid scheme of sleep. Seeing, hearing, or even imagining a yawn primes your attention and mirror circuits, so your brain auto-completes the action to sync up with the tribe. It's more likely when you're tired or dialed into someone, friends, streamers, even stick figures count. Try not to yawn right now. Exactly. Perfectly normal, mildly hilarious, and oddly powerful at resetting tension in your jaw and neck. Quick reset to stop the chain. Slow inhale through your nose, long exhale like you're fogging a mirror, and roll your shoulders. Phantom phone vibration. Your thigh keeps getting texts from thin air. Expectation plus random skin and nerve noise gets pattern matched as a buzz, especially when you're on high alert for messages, riding public transit, or stuck in boring meetings. Your brain hates uncertainty, so it fills in a ping that never happened. Easy patches. Move the phone to the other pocket or a bag, Switch to a very different alert pattern, or go vibration off for an hour to reset your notification radar. Glance first, don't pounce. Half the time there's nothing there and your brain learns from the correction. Eyelid twitch. Your eyelid joined CrossFit without asking. Fatigue, stress, too much caffeine, dehydration, and marathon screen time can irritate the tiny muscles around the eye so they keep pinging on their own. It feels huge. It looks microscopic. It's almost always harmless and ghosts you in a few days. Patches. Sleep more than your phone. Follow the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Use a warm compress, hydrate, and maybe dial back the espresso. If the twitch drags on for weeks, pulls other facial muscles, or shuts the eye, time to check in with a pro. If you've already said same at least three times, that's your sign to subscribe. It seriously helps this channel keep animating weird human bugs. Okay, back to the glitches. Pins and needles. You sat on your legs so long your nerves rage quit the group chat. Pressure kinks the nerve signaling and squishes tiny blood vessels. When you finally move, messages flood back as sparks. The fix is movement. Uncross, stand, shake out, and let circulation catch up. No need to karate chop your calf. Swap tight shoes, straps, or perching postures for looser options if this happens a lot at your desk, normal is minutes, constant numbness, weakness, 
or one-sided symptoms is not. Flag it. Head rush. Stand too fast and your brain leaves the chat for a second. Gravity pulls blood into your legs, pressure drops, and the bear or reflex scrambles to tighten vessels and speed up the heart. Cue woozy tunnel vision, starry sparkles, or the classic, wait, where am I? Hydration helps. So does flexing your calves before standing and taking it in stages. Sit, edge, stand. After workouts, hot showers, or skipped meals, the effect hits harder. If you actually black out or it's frequent, talk to someone with a stethoscope. Goosebumps. Your skin throws on a vintage fur coat you don't own. Tiny erector pili muscles tug each hair upright. Great insulation if you're a porcupine, mostly aesthetic if you're a human. Cold triggers it to trap a whisper of air, while fear, a plot twist, or epic music can do it via adrenaline, which is why concert chills feel electric. Warmth reverses it. So does, you know, putting on an actual coat. Fun flex. Animals use the same reflex to look bigger when threatened. Tinnitus ring. Concert ends, silence drops, and your ear DJ spins a high-pitched banger. Tiny hair cells in the inner ear got stressed, so your brain fills in, missing sound with its own tone. It's common after loud venues, cranked headphones, or power tool days. Quick patches, earplugs at shows, noise breaks for your headphones, and the classic rule of thumb. Keep music under too loud to talk over. Ringing that fades in hours to a day is typical. If it sticks around, is one-sided, or comes with hearing loss, get it checked. Leg cramp. You're asleep, your calf decides it's a sailor, and ties a knot at 3 a.m. It's a burst of overexcited motor neurons plus a tired or shortened muscle. Boom! Vice grip squeeze that makes you invent new words. Don't leap out of bed. Dorsiflex the foot. Toes toward your knee. Gently massage and breathe slow until the knot melts. Warmth helps. So does staying hydrated and easing into workouts. Bananas are fine, but not magic. The bigger wins are regular calf stretches and not overloading a fatigued muscle late. If cramps are frequent, severe, or daytime with weakness, mention it to a pro. Eye floaters. You're staring at a bright sky and little blobs drift across like uninvited screensavers. Inside your eye, tiny collagen strands in the vitreous cast shadows on the retina. Your brain sees them as floaters. They're normal with age, nearsightedness, or long screen stares. Your brain usually learns to ignore them. They pop the most against white walls or clear skies, then vanish the moment you try to look directly at one. Classic floater move. Patch? Mostly patience, hydration, and blinking breaks. But if you get a sudden storm of new floaters, flashes of light, or a curtain over part of your vision, that's urgent care time. Hiccups. Your diaphragm throws a tiny tantrum, slams your vocal cords shut, and hick. Triggers include fizzy drinks, fast eating, alcohol, temperature swings, big laughs, even spicy food. The sound is your closing vocal cords catching air like elevator doors. Fixes. Slow sips of water, steady box breathing, a gentle palate tickle, think sipping through a straw, or a brief breath hold to reset the reflex. Try to avoid chugging and gulping air. Most hiccups ghost you in minutes. If they last longer than a day or keep coming back hard, that's a talk to someone moment. Sleep paralysis. Brain online, body offline, progress bar stuck at 99%. You surface from REM sleep, but the muscle lock that prevents you from acting out dreams hasn't switched off yet. You're awake, can't move, maybe hear footsteps or see a shadow visitor perched on the dresser. It feels supernatural. It's a harmless wiring delay plus dream imagery leaking through and adrenaline turning up the drama. What helps? Regular sleep and wake times, side sleeping instead of flat on your back, dialing down stress, and, in the moment, tiny toe or finger wiggles and slow breaths until control returns. Your body is a masterpiece with a few quirky patch notes. And now you know why the glitches feel so weird and so human. Be kind to your nervous system, hydrate, and sleep well. May all your future glitches be harmless, helpful, and a little hilarious.